how does China balance uh, its economic revival between the, its domestic recovery versus the recovery in foreign trade? Yeah, I think that we, we have to put the export number with what was the expectation three months ago. I would say the second quarter export growth rate has been so much outperformed the consensus, but compared to the last two months, it seems to be weak. But relatively speaking, the Chinese actually ha Chinese export have been gaining massive market share, while the whole world, uh, the rest part of the world, is actually have been locked down. I think that the Chinese GDP uh, recovery is is uh, sustainable in the next two quarters at least because of the infrastructure is growing and Chinese actually the domestic economy seems to be fine and then also domestic tourism is uh, actually has been reopened for cross provincial travel so I would think that the uh, recovery to a below slightly below COVID level is definitely to about five percent in the next two quarters is definitely foreseeable. All right, but I mean, you talk about this impressive recovery at 2%. I mean, considering where we came from, that certainly is impressive, but it's still going to be the weakest expansion, I believe, on record on that quarterly basis. So this raises the question of what more does Beijing need to do in the way of stimulus? Yeah, I think that Beijing needs to carry out what they are doing at the moment. And for the moment, there's one tricky wild card would be the stock market uh, rally or melt up. And this stock market meltdown has somewhat caused the uh, Chinese market interest rate and Chinese bond yields to spike up. And that could undermine some of the easing initiative. And what they should do would be to prevent so-called this uh, mad move bull market in China and then just to tamp down the uh, CGB bond yield a little bit to help these local government bond issuance. And overall, it's just that they need to carry out what they have been doing in the last couple of months. 